News with Dan Rather reporting from CBS News headquarters in New York. It's a commonly used type of glass meant to keep people, including school children, from getting hurt in a fire. But there's serious concerns about whether the glass is full of other problems that can hurt people. CBS's Sandra Hughes investigated for the Friday Consumer Alert. Watch number 32. Instead of blocking a shot, high school senior Brett Terman shattered his lifelong dreams. The accident cost him the full use of his right hand and any chance for a college basketball scholarship. 12-year-old Zach Darmanin crashed through a window while rollerblading. I was thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to die. He lost half his blood and is still in bandages. It was just horrible. It just looked like a chainsaw, you know, he got cut with. I mean, it didn't look like he got cut with glass. The young men were injured by wired glass, used in schools, hospitals, and athletic facilities as a fire deterrent, often referred to as safety glass. Its critics call it anything but. When it is impacted, you not only break through the glass, but you go also go through the wire. Greg Abel launched a one-man crusade against wired glass after his son was severely injured. Once you go through, you have to try to come back out, and all of these shards of glass are being held into this penetrated opening. A study by an Emory University professor estimates most of the 2,500 annual glass door injuries in schools involve wired glass, because critics explain it's only half the strength of regular plate glass. Back in 1977, the Consumer Product Safety Commission gave the manufacturers of wired glass a temporary exemption from strength requirements because at the time it was the only kind of glass that slowed the spread of fire. Wire glass slows the spread of fire by staying in place, staying in the frame, and not allowing flames and hot gases to pass through the opening. Oregon State Senator Vicki Walker says the Consumer Product Safety Commission dropped the ball. But they're not doing anything about wire glass. The injuries are there. Walker convinced her state to ban wire glass in all new construction and replace it in some old schools. The wired glass industry vows to fight any kind of similar blanket ban. The Consumer Product Safety Commission and the industry say the number of injuries cannot be confirmed. Wired glass would be a safe product when used properly. Not according to Greg Abel, who worries about the thousands of old buildings with wired glass. It's extremely frightening because uh, it's, it's an accident waiting to happen. Accidents that have left behind painful memories and devastating scars. Sandra Hughes, CBS News, Eugene, Oregon.